All right, here's an example. Got all the bells and whistles on this example. Here, here's a function. It's a quadratic. It's in vertex form. Um, this could be throwing a ball, right? It's a sad face. It could be profits versus time. It could be any of the word problems we've been doing. Somehow, shape or form, we need to find the x-intercepts. Okay, x-intercepts. Let's remember that. To find an x-intercept, you need to make y zero. Okay, so I turn this y into zero. Now we're solving for x. How do we solve for x? We get x by itself. I'm probably going to have to use the square root property, but the order we go in matters, right? We need to move all these numbers, the 98, the squared, the 6, the negative 2. They have to get moved to the other side of the equal sign to get x by itself. So the first thing we're going to do, the 98. A plus 98 becomes a negative 98 on the other side. 0 minus 98. Perfect. Next, I have not isolated the squared yet. I have this times negative 2. To move a times negative 2 to the other side, we divide by a negative 2. Okay, a negative 98 divided by a negative 2. Positive 49. Awesome. Next, it's have the exponent. We need the, the squared. What's opposite of taking a squared? That's a square root. If I take a two, the squared to the other side, it becomes a square root symbol with a plus or minus symbol in front of it. Got to have this little plus or minus symbol in front of it or you're only going to get one answer. And we know there's two. What is the square root of 49? 7. So now we have plus or minus 7. Finally then, we're not done. To get x by itself, we have a plus at 6. I'll move the plus 6 to their side by making it a minus 6. x is now by itself. We'll get two answers. A negative 6 plus 7. 1. Or a negative 6 minus 7. Negative 13. We were looking for the x-intercept for this quadratic in vertex form. 1 and negative 13. Um, I actually graphed it for us. So all this stuff is interconnected. That's the way math works. Here is a graph of the exact same equation, right? Sad face. We're looking for the x-intercept. Here's one at negative 13. Here's one at positive 1, just like we got doing the graspable, doing all the work. Voila, you guys are using the square root property. Don't forget the plus or minus symbol. Moving on.